Stephen Kamens has pointed out that phrenesis is difficult to define, but we know it when we see it and we know it when it's absent. If you reflect on your own practices, or re professional or research practices, I'm sure there's many stories that you can come up with where you can either see phrenesis or see its absence. Arthur Frank suggests that phrenesis is something we evoke and that it is largely through narrative and story that phrenesis is revealed. And I think that sometimes it's easier to discern what, free, what practical wisdom might be when it's absent, um, when we kind of find ourselves having some kind of moral distress or moral outrage at something that we're seeing that we feel it's just not the way it should be. Um, so as an occupational therapy, I have a story from an occupational therapy student um, from fieldwork. Uh, that I thought might illuminate a bit of uh, what phrenesis is, although we had some great examples earlier today. Um, but Mark was asked by his preceptor to provide education to Mary regarding care of her wounds following bilateral amputations of her legs above the knee. The surgery would require Mary to use a wheelchair for mobility after surgery and likely for life. She was not a candidate for prosthetic legs. Mark had recently learned about wound healing and care following amputation and was eager to share his knowledge with Mary. Mark's supervisor provided him with educational material with a list of topics to cover, as well as a videotape to help him provide education about amputation wound care. And he was instructed to complete the education in his next se session with Mary. So Mark went to this session, and Mary, he turned on the video and began the education session, and Mary began to cry. And Mark sat there and watched the video while Mary continued to cry. After the uh, video was complete, he took out his checklist and he went through the 10 points that he was supposed to tell her and she continued to cry. And it wasn't until the very end of the session when he had maybe two or three minutes left because he only had a certain amount of time ascribed to do this that he asked her what was wrong. And she said, I haven't you know, been able to hear anything that you're talking about I'm a single mother with five children. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to feed my children, what kind of work I can do, how I can take care of my home. And so it, to me, it's a clear example of Mark wanting to meet the outcomes that were prescribed by his supervisor and not being able to move into a place of phrenesis or practical wisdom, which might have enabled him to act differently uh, in this situation. <clears throat> 